Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and I'm here to do a Sydney movie haul and talk a little bit about my recent trip to Sydney. So as most of you know I spent a week and a half in Sydney recently and had an absolute blast. I've only been there twice now but it's absolutely fantastic. It's a great city. Very, very hectic though. Um, insane the amount of people that are everywhere compared to where I live but it was great. Um, I always enjoy my times in Sydney. So I did quite a lot and I did a few things movie related this time. So I went down with my partner by the way and we the first, one of the first things we did was we did a ghost tour. Um, so we went with the Rocks Ghost Tour group and they do nightly ghost tours for a couple of hours around the Rocks area which is a well-known part of Sydney. It's sort of down by Circular Quay, which is where the Opera House and Sydney Harbour Bridge are. And yeah, it's like a very sort of historical part of Sydney where a lot of the early settlers and convicts were based back in the day. And there's a lot of really interesting history. So we did the ghost tour and basically you just went around different haunted locations and found out about suicides, murders and deaths and stuff like that. Now, I personally believe in ghosts. I've had a few ghost experiences myself before and I was really, really hoping that I would experience something and I was especially hoping I would capture something on camera because I took plenty of photos. But unfortunately, I didn't. But still, it was absolutely phenomenal. It was very, very interesting. Some pretty um, nasty and messed up things happened in that particular area. Um, to do with like murders and killings and stuff like that and yeah it was really really interesting so if you're into that sort of thing you live in Sydney or you're planning a trip to Sydney I definitely highly recommend doing the ghost tour really really good uh, the next thing we did movie related we did a bunch of other stuff but I won't talk too much into that because I'm sure you guys are interested in the movie portion so we went to Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum and there's one up the Gold Coast which is about an hour away from where I live and I've always wanted to go to this particular museum. It's like a museum with a lot of like famous movie and sporting um, people and icons. And the one at Sydney is down at Darling Harbour. Um, we also went to the Sydney Aquarium. We did like the two attractions because they're side by side. The aquarium was awesome by the way, I definitely recommend doing that too. But anyway, back to the museum. The museum was fantastic and I'm going to um, show you guys some photos, um, just a few of the movie related uh, characters and people that were there in the um, museum. But yeah, I had an absolute blast, it was fantastic. and. Um, I couldn't get over how lifelike some of the um, displays were. It was uh, kind of freaky in a way. But yeah, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, um, E.T., which I already knew about prior to going, and I was super keen for that. That was awesome. Um, there was a Bruce Willis Die Hard scene, uh, Mel Gibson Mad Max scene. Um, I'm blanking here, the director from Alfred Hitchcock, um, the director on from Psycho, I was pretty excited for that. Superman, um, Jackie Chan, and yeah, um, just an absolutely fantastic time, I really enjoyed that. So again, I definitely recommend that if you're in Sydney or if you're planning to visit Sydney. Um, but yeah, those are a couple of movie related things that I did which I wanted to quickly talk about. And while I was there, I did a little bit of shopping. I went to three major stores. Um, the first one we'll talk about is Top 10 Sound and Sight, which is in Haymarket, which is kind of next to Chinatown. It's all sort of in that area. And um, that was a pretty interesting shop. It took a little bit of finding. Um, I got a bit mixed up to where it was. But when I found it, it was pretty cool. The owner, Helen, was really, really sweet. And um, basically, it was just sort of like a shop with um, mu music. Like, it had a lot of vinyl and stuff and movies, of course. Um, you had to spend a bit of time 
rummaging through everything. It was, uh, yeah, very, very small store, but I did pick up a few things and there were some pretty decent deals. Um, not a lot that I didn't already own that I was interested in picking up. And unfortunately, they did not have a ton of horror. Um, but yeah, there were some pretty good deals, some rare and out of print stuff and some harder to find stuff was in there, which is pretty good. So I definitely recommend checking the store out if you're in Sydney at all. Um, a little bit hit and miss with the prices, honestly. Um, some of the stuff is pretty expensive, um, but yeah, you can pick up some pretty good deals. So I only picked up three movies from there. Um, but I was pretty happy and I got a bit of a discount as well, which was cool. Um, so the first movie I picked up was uh, the Friday the 13th remake. I don't own an individual copy of this, so I just own it in the box set. One of my favourite remakes of all time and definitely one of my favourite entries into the franchise. So pick this one up. Um, this particular disc over here in Australia is um, pretty hard to come across now, so... I picked this one up. Um, the next one I've been wanting to pick up for a while, so um, I picked up a UK copy of Livid. Um, I've heard this is really, really good. By the way, um, they have a lot of import uh, movies there too, which is pretty cool. So that's Livid. And the last one, um, I think I've seen this before, but it's been a while. And this one is pretty hard to find. It's not horror, but... Uh, this Boy's Life with Leonardo DiCaprio. As I said, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one ages ago, uh, but glad to pick this one up. And yeah, as I said, this is uh, kind of hard to find here in Australia nowadays. So, not bad. Um, three titles from Top 10 Sound and Movie. So yeah, as I said, if you're in the Haymarket area down in Sydney, I would definitely recommend checking them out. And now we'll move on to my major haul. So my major haul was at JB Hi-Fi. And JB Hi-Fi, I've mentioned these guys before. Really, really well-known um, movie and music store here in Australia. Basically like the American Best Buy, I guess. And like HMV over in the UK. And um, I also took some photos of the store in case my overseas viewers are interested in knowing what they look like. Um, they're everywhere over here in Australia and especially in Sydney. I think there was like about four or five stores within a 10 to 15 minute walk of each other within the city, which was kind of crazy. I went to a couple of stores, did pretty well. Um, they had a 20% off sale while I was down there, which was um, pretty awesome. So... Yeah, this is what the front of one of the stores looks like, and uh, pretty standard. This is what most of the stores look like from the outside, and then I also took a bunch of photos inside of just some of the movies, DVD section, the Blu-rays, and most of the stores have a dedicated horror uh, section or shelf, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, always love JB Hi-Fi. Um, they're pretty much the best place to pick up movies over here in Australia. So uh, yeah, let's find out what I picked up. So yeah, as I said, I picked up all of these for 20% off. Um, so I picked up The Prodigy, which, and I haven't seen any of these by the way, so um, let me know if you have, let me know what you think of them in the comments section below. Um, this is a horror film from this year, so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking this one out. It sounds really, really good. Um, the next one, been getting a lot of hype, I didn't catch this one in theatres, we have Crawl, um, a recent release over here, so super excited to check this one out, I'll be definitely watching this sometime in the next day or two. Um, the next one, it's not horror, but it's one of my favourite television series, especially in terms of um, modern television. And that's the Goldbergs. This is season five. So absolutely love this show. If you're a fan of 80s pop culture and you've never seen this, I highly, highly recommend it. It's an amazing, amazing show. The main character, Adam, basically films and documents his family. And yeah, there's just a ton of amazing 
80s references, especially in terms of movies. So definitely highly recommend this show. Uh, picked up a couple of 4K discs. Um, picked up Shazam, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Another one that I've been waiting to pick up and uh, for the it was part of a deal actually two for 50 and then 20 percent off so that was pretty cool uh brightburn i've heard amazing things about this one um and the movie that i got with brightburn was rocket man another one that i am super excited to check out i thought bohemian rhapsody was phenomenal so looking forward to checking this one out obviously a um, biography on Elton John. Um, picked up one te television series that I've been hearing really good things about and that is Chernobyl. And I also picked up a couple of cheap DVDs. So I believe this movie came out last year, Hostile. It's like a sort of post-apocalyptic um, creature feature so this one sounds really really good and this one is another horror movie from this year which I've actually heard pretty good things about and that is Monster Party so yeah um, pretty pretty decent haul from JB Hi-Fi I was happy with these um, and as I said timed it really really well because they had the 20% off sales so yeah, there you go guys, that is pretty much my video of my trip to Sydney, a um, few things we did, and then of course my Sydney movie haul from Top 10 Sound and Movie and JB Hi-Fi. So let me know what you think in the comments section below, let me know what you think of my photos from the Wax Museum, and especially let me know what you think of the movies that I picked up while I was away. So yeah, there you go guys, that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.